Hey Gemini, welcome to your quarterly reading for October, November, and December. I am Charlene Lizette. Raven is sleeping. It's a rainy day today here in Toronto, and our girl is just on the bed so i don't know that she's gonna show up for your reading but you never know right if you are new thank you so much for stopping by i hope you click subscribe and become a part of our collective and those of you that are part of our membership here on youtube i love you thank you so much gemini we're gonna pull out three cards for your general overall themes for the month this message is meant to be overarching to your monthlies your weeklies your spirit messages okay and um and we're going to dive deep into love after as well as an overarching message. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you see that? I saw that. Let me, again. Whoa. It's like these cards want a sneaky, sneaky all in ya. Okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. Then we have the Nine of Wands, Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands for November with the Eight of Pentacles underneath here, kind of like hidden there. And I feel like because it's underneath, that's like the energy that's pushing you forward for November. Then in December, we have the Hanged Man, Two of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. So, so there's this like deep desire here to want to cultivate some type of balance, some type of harmony in your home, in your, in your love life, in your like happy home life, your happy structure, right? So let's see what the other cards are saying and then we're gonna dive in. So in October, we have the full moon, uh, a, a full moon in Aries, new moon in Libra. Uh, November, it's in Scorpio um, and Taurus. And then in um, December, it's in Sagittarius and you, Gemini. Now, what's happening here is with Pluto stationing direct in the sign of Capricorn in the last time of our lifetime, Jupiter, which is currently in your sign, stationing retrograde, we're seeing these the outer planets, which we call the giants, right? We call them like the, the big planets, the big planets out in the, in the cosmos, right? Um, the, the, and the outer planets affect the collective. We're seeing a lot of like big collective changes. For you, Jupiter being in your sign plays a big role because you're going to be experiencing a lot of changes in whatever house Jupiter, um, Gemini rules in your chart. So if you're Gemini rising, your first house, Gemini second house, etc. right? It's gonna be a little bit different for all of you. So it's really important for you to either learn how to read your own astrology, your chart to see what's going on, or you can book a session with me. I'll happily do that for you, okay? In October, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. October feels bumpy. It feels like you're on the roller coaster ride. If you're in Canada, okay, and if you're in Toronto and you've ever been on the Mind Buster, it's one of the like original wooden roller coasters in Canada. And people think that the wild beast is bad. No, the Mind Buster, you're like this. And you're like, I want to be having a good time but this roller coaster is whipping me around right I'm like i'm here for the thrill you know i don't know a gemini that's not down for the adventure but at the same time you're like what the hell is happening and that's what i do like I signed up for a fun roller coaster adventure. I did not sign up to get banged around and tossed left, right, and center. Well, it's happening because Gemini Source is wanting you to see that you are not alone. That you have so many people on your side, so many people that love you, and that this internal dialogue of isolation, of loss, of feeling left out in the cold is not rooted in reality. And it's also asking you to pay very fucking close attention to your relationships. Who are the people in your life that are making you feel left out? And then are you projecting that shit onto the people who truly genuinely love you? Might have hit a nerve there. Nine of cups to the knight of swords. And this is where swords turns around and goes, focus on the good shit. Period, hard stop. Focus on the good shit in your life and more good shit will come. Don't focus on the people who make you feel isolated. Stop giving them your energy, your time. You don't need to do that. With the solar eclipse here, this could have been something that happened around October 2nd. This could have been from the uh, Aries solar eclipse that happened back on the 8th. And now it's shifting, you know, there's accumulation here, a realization of like, oh my God, why am I doing this? Why am I behaving this way, right? As we move into November, it says, I remember. 
uh, soul plan, the fated life versus the destiny life. And this is where the hard work begins, eight of pentacles, where you come out of this victim mindset and you turn around and go, I am willing to put in the elbow grease, nine of wands. I am willing to fight for what I desire, seven of pentacles. I'm ready to, or seven of wands. I'm ready to make moves forward, eight of wands. All this fiery energy tells me that November is going to be caliente, caliente, caliente. But it's a passion, it's a drive, it's a fire, it's, it's an initiation where you're like, who hurt me? And I'm going to now focus on what's going to make me happy, what I need to fight for in my own life so that I can live that happy life. It's almost like you come from like this, like, well, yes, it's happening to me to like, bah, 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 bah. I'm going to fight everybody who tries to mess with me. And I don't think this is fighting out of anger. This is fighting out of like, I, this is my honor. This is my life. And nobody can control me and how I'm going to choose to live my life. This is like freaking breaking free from the chains and breaking free from the trauma and the people who have been hurting you, the people who have been putting you down, the people who are hell bent on misunderstanding you and hurting you. You're like, you ain't doing it anymore. Get out of here. Never mind demure. Never mind mindful. War. But not in a bad way. In a Taurus way. <laughs> okay. Even the fact you got Ishell before we dive into no, December and your love rating. Ishell is an amulet from Sarsi Jewels. This is about joy, optimism, hope, excitement. This is you going, this is my life. It's now or never, right? Like that's the vibe. You, you just want to live the best life forever. And you're realizing these people are the reason that you're not. And so you're like, get out of my life. And I'm, I'll fight you for this. It's like, sorry, I don't know, it's like a rumbling inside of you. I really like this, to be honest. Then in December, we have relationships. I'm attracted to those who serve me for my highest good. The hanged man, two of pentacles, seven of cups, and the ten of cups. Here it is. Here is where you turn around and you go. <laughs> to all of the ones who really tried to disrupt this happy life of yours. You want a peaceful life? You have that peaceful life. If this person is disrupting your life, out they go. It's like you detach from giving away your power. It's like you realize and recognize, you self-reflect, you cultivate some insane emotional balance. You, you realize through introspection and self-reflection, like, oh my God, I was really giving my power away. And so now that you start cultivating more peace, more ease, because you're like, 2025 is my year. That's your vibe, right? You're like, I, I ain't going down like I did in 2024. And remember, Jupiter is in its fall in the sign of Gemini, which means he doesn't really like he doesn't really like being there. But at the end of the day, he's gonna bless because it's God. Okay? Let me get your love reading out. Oh, I realize why this felt so weird. What the hell? What the hell am I doing here? Okay, let me. So that's what's going on in your love life, the star. I thought I saw one more. Hold on a second. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe only two fell. Two of ones. And let's get the last one and then let me get some more cards here. Just take a peek. Ah, strength. And then we have the hermit at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this is you. This is you conjuring with the universe. This is you talking to God and being like, God, these are the things I want in my love life. These are the things I want in romance. These are the things I want. Can you help me? What do I need to do? Queen of Wands. Yes. What do I need to do? Nine of you're willing, you're willing to step back into your confidence here. And I really, really like this for you, Gemini, because what it makes me feel is like, even though you're not Scorpio, like the Phoenix, you're rising from the ashes and reminding everybody that they don't mess with a Gemini. Because Gemini's got two faces. <laughs> it's two in one. It's two people in one. <laughs> you know? All right? Um, if you want to book a session, you need some clarity, you need some help, it's in the description box below. I'm going to pop this video here all about manifesting money because that's what I'm seeing here is the most important thing for you. Cultivate that financial security, that financial independence. Get right with your money. Feel good about yourself. And that's what this manifesting money video is all about. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We will see you later, alligators. Peace out. Bye.